Hi everyone. First of all, I would like to apologize for not recording any videos for the past month or so. I was really busy with the end of the semester and moving to a new location for my new internship. This video will be about geocoding addresses using QGIS. So first thing, you need to have the MMQGIS plugin installed. If you don't have it installed, you can go to plugins, manage and install, then you can type the name MMQGIS. As you can see, I have it already installed, but if you don't have it installed, you will see a button here to install it. Now let's go back. Let me show you the data that I need to geocode. So I have this CSV file. These are tea shops and coffee shops from all over the world. So we have one in London, one in Berlin, in Paris, Milano, Tokyo, St. Petersburg, Istanbul, Seattle, and Cape Town. In order to geocode in QGIS, you need one column for the address, a column for the city, a column for the state, even if you leave some values empty, and a column for the country. Now let's go to QGIS. MMQGIS, geocode, geocode CSV with Google OpenStreetMap. When we say with Google or OpenStreetMap, this is similar to having a geocoder in ArcGIS. But here, we're using either Google or OpenStreetMap data to geocode. Now, let's browse for the file. It's in the desktop. That's a CSV file. QGIS will guess the fields for the address, city, country, and state. And if there is a mistake, you can change it from here. This option, web service, is similar to the geocoder in ArcGIS. So we have the two options. I'll use the Google. This is the output shape file. One more option, the not found CSV, which means if any of the addresses is not found, it will be stored here. So I'll just put it also on the desktop and save it as not found. Now let's click OK and wait. So we saw this message, 9 of 9, which means 9 points have been geocoded. And actually, I have nine, so it means that it did not miss anything. Let me change the symbology. I'll put it as star, and maybe increase it to nine. Click OK. All right, so we have London, Paris, Berlin, Milano, Istanbul, St. Petersburg, Tokyo, Cape Town, and Seattle. Let me go back to the desktop. So these are the files for the shape file plus the not found. As you can see, it's empty, which means that all the addresses have been geocoded, even though that we have addresses in different languages. And honestly, geocoding with QGIS is much simpler than geocoding in ArcGIS. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know, and see you in the next video.